In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite routes from Tripside In that is going to allow you to be able to obliterate the meta coverage that you're going to be facing in this year's game, that being the Trips Tight End Mabel coverage, one of the most popular defenses in the game with a 30-yard cloud. So we're going to show you in this video how you can beat 30-yard cloud flats over the top and get huge, huge gains for your offense. So if you're new to the channel, I would ask that you hit that sub button. It's completely free to subscribe. It just allows you to stay up to date with the content. We release new Madden videos every single day to help you get better. So if you want to get access to all that free stuff, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And then today we're talking about the trip side information. We're going to be taking a look at the verticals play concept out of this. We're actually going to be focusing on this as a wide side concept. What I mean when I say wide side is we're going to have our trips tied in to the field, meaning the three receiver side is going to be to the wide side of the field. So you see the balls on the right hash. So our trips, our three receivers would be to the left. Most people, whenever you have trips to the left, are going to anticipate because there's more field, there's more grass, there's more space to throw the ball on the left side of the field, that that is where you would attack. So they're going to set their zone defense up or their man defense up to kind of protect against the wide side of the field. So what we're going to show you in this breakdown is how you can actually attack the short side of the field and still get over the top of the main primary ways that people are going to defend you out of the trip side information. So we hope you're really excited about for that. And then also, if you haven't joined my Patreon yet, that's the best way to get access to all 18 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides, as well as any additional updates that we release or new eBooks that we release in the course of the Madden 22 season while your subscription is active. So what it is, is you sign up for $10 a month and it gets you access to every eBook that I've released so far, any new eBook that I will release while your membership is active, and all of the updates that I've been doing in the membership throughout the year. We've got over a 18 offensive and defensive guides. We've got over a hundred of updates that you can use that are little tweaks to the guys, little expansions, little concepts here and there that may not be a full game plan or full ebook, but they're necessary to help you become a better player. So we update it every week with new stuff. So if you're looking to really take your game up a notch, I would ask that you would consider joining our Patreon. It's only $10 a month. And I'm telling you, you're going to find that there's so much material in there that will make you a better player. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below. Let's talk about verticals from Trips Tied In. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to basically turn this into Y cross, um, but we have to kind of be a little bit um, strategic about our blocking. Okay, um, If you want a five-man protection or a... Um, if you want a five-man protection or a six-man protection, we're going to give you both setups in this video. So the primary thing we're going to want to do is we're definitely going to want to motion Scotty Miller to the right side of the screen and put him on a fade route. That's really important uh, for this concept because what we, the number one thing we need to be able to do is against a cover four drop zone, that we actually we really need to clear that out over the top. Now, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Um, there is another way that we can do it, which I'll cover in just a second. But the first step is a fade to Scotty Miller to the right. Now, this tight end route is actually going to work like a rounded out route. If you actually watch the route, you're going to see that it's kind of a, a rounded corner. And then your other route is going to come on top of that, as you can see right there. So um, it's up to you if you want to if you want to hot route that tight end route. You certainly don't have to, but you also can do that if you want to. OK, so that's just something that I want to uh, just kind of let you know about. The, the big thing that you want to do with this is when you motion this uh, guy over here to the side of the field, now what we need to do is have something that we can use to high-low on the right. Because again, the whole purpose of this concept is we want to try to flood everything to the right side of the screen. So what I like to do in this concept is I love to put the tight end on a five-yard out route. Real simple, it'll beat man. It's also something you can use. If they're not playing hard flats, then you can throw this out here and just get a quick five yards. It's something that people really sleep on uh, from this formation, and it's something that I personally think makes a lot of sense because we're gonna open up some space in just a second to show you how we can throw the running back. Now, you can leave the running back on this little ghost route. I think that's perfectly fine because if they blitz, he'll block. But what you're gonna get a lot of in Madden 22 is you're going to get a lot of this look right here. And what the beauty of this running back route is, he's going to sit. If they're in coverage, he's just going to curl up right here, 
and he's basically a little check down for you and will keep the chains moving and force the user to have to worry about the middle of the field um, that the running back could be in a position where he could get open. So that's just something that they have to worry about. And then the next thing that I want to show you uh, within this concept is how deep this route to Godwin really is and how good it really is. So what you can do with this, and again, you can do this a couple of different ways um, depending on that. I'm going to show you a second setup in just a second. But this route to Godwin cannot be covered by a 30-yard cloud. So you're just going to get some time. And if I pass that straight up, you see it goes about 45 yards up the seam or up the field where they can't really get to it out of a cover three coverage. So if they're just in basic, if they're just in basic cover three defense, this is a great concept. Um, it's great for cover two too, which we'll get to in just a second. But let's say they're in just a vanilla cover three base. You get a nice double team here. And if I pass that straight up, you see how deep of a route that is and how much that can get on top of things. And then let me show you cover two. This really shines well um, against the cover two. We're first focusing on a three-man rush, and then we'll talk a little bit about some of the other things that you can do off of this in just a second. Um, but what you're going to see, this is a basic little three-man rush. Now, I've got my fade, remember, against cover two. So if I get outside leverage, I can, but I don't. I get shoved inside here. But if you wait on this, pass lead it straight up. You see where? See how deep that gets? way over a 30 yard cloud you're going to have a lot of ability to be able to throw that ball uh, wide open in the seam um, and how it's going to work so what this is going to do is it's absolutely going to require their user to go guard it so they have to go guard this with their user they can't guard it with anything else and that's where really the foundation is going to be because now we're going to be able to because of this tight end out route here we're going to be able to clear out the zone and now if you look, the back is wide open, and then also your dig is wide open. So you just have a high-low in the middle of the field. Either you hit your running back or you hit your dig. It's really that simple, um, and that's how I like to run this concept. This will beat every coverage in the game. It beats cover two, it beats cover three, it beats cover four. Um, let me show you it against man coverage real quick. So let's say we're playing a traditional man team. One of the things that, again, your route to Godwin, um, as long as he has a route running ability, uh, will beat man coverage. Your out route will beat man coverage. But then something else I wanted to share with you in this video is you got your out route, boom, boom, no, no. But look at your dig. That's open too. So you you high low them again. It's just it's mainly a two-man read between those two. But if you get in trouble, let's say you get in, a, in, in trouble with this because, again, let's just say they have absolutely perfect defense. Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, they have absolutely perfect defense. So they man this up. They, like, played a purple here. They got a vert hook here. Let's just say, hypothetically, they just have some of the best defense you've ever seen against this concept. Okay? So it's something like this with their user on circle. Again, you put them in a position, and this is a true drop nine defense, by the way, which, you, I mean, you see some. You see some in this here. But, you know. But anyway, so it's a drop eight or drop nine, and everything, everything's broken down. Well, you got a double team here. Roll out of the pocket. Playmaker that route and get it open. Very simple, very smooth. Now, I told you I was going to give you an additional setup uh, for this. This is primarily for, actually I'm going to give you two additional ones, but this one's for if they're running a lot of cover three and they're jumping over in this area of the field. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take, the, uh, take Scotty Miller here and we're going to put him on a hitch. We're gonna put Mike Evans on a dig. You can actually put Scotty Miller on a smoke screen if you want to. And then we're just gonna streak Gronkowski. So you see you've got a smoke to Miller. You've got a vertical to Gronkowski. You still have that little hitch to the back and then you still have that deep crosser. So what you're gonna see now is there's a lot of room in the middle of the field where we can hit that tight end seam streak. That's the primary thing that you're looking to get there. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you within this concept is let's say for example, that they're just giving you some really good pressure. Let's just say they're giving you some really good pressure um, and you want to be able to pick up all the pressure. What you can do is simply block your tight end. Everything else is pretty much the same, but what I would recommend is option route the back. Against zone, he's going to sit on a hitch. Against man, he's going to cut to the outside. And what you're going to see with that is now there's nobody in the middle of the field to guard him. There's absolutely nobody to guard the running back and the blitz gets picked up perfectly. This play needs to be ran more. I'm just telling you right now, this play needs to be ran more. Most people don't run this play. 
um, honestly because it's just not a popular play. But when you really take time to really understand the concept of this play, this is the best crossing. I, I, it's at least one of the best crossing routes in the game, if not the best crossing route. And look how open it gets out of two by two. It's just like the PA slot cross route out of gun tight way off. And the beauty of this is you now have a true spaced out spread where they have to go guard it. And then it opens up everything else for you. So uh, that's verticals out of two by two verticals. Very good little play. Very good little concept out of the trips tight in formation and something that I think you need to add to your playbook. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to learn all of my eBooks, you get everything in the Patreon membership for $10 a month. Very much so worth it. 18 eBooks, over 100 updates to those guides within it um, that can help you become a better player. And remember, by being a member, you automatically get access to any new stuff, which I've got a ton of new stuff that is on its way. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to join the membership, there's a link in the description where you can sign up for just 10 bucks.